Because of COVID-19, the swearing-in at the state capitol had to be rather modest today, but it involved one of the state's best-known political families. West Virginia Tonight Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis explains. I, Riley do solemnly swear and with that, 40-year-old Republican Riley Moore became the new state treasurer for West Virginia. Moore, who is the grandson of the late three-term Governor Arch Moore, previously served a term in the House of Delegates. He says one of his top priorities is getting the state's medical cannabis program off the ground, even though it was approved four years ago. Getting a legal banking program to process the funds has been part of the holdup. Uh, there was a delay in selecting a financial institution to handle that money. And I, I, look, enough is enough. We don't need any more delays here in this program. Moore defeated 24-year Democratic treasurer John Perdue, a man widely respected in both parties. We are going to return $20 million to the General Revenue Fund, and $10 million of that will come from unclaimed property. While Purdue grew the state's 529 college savings fund for kids, more plans to expand that more to the skilled trades as well. It's going to be a really big program that's going to allow people uh, in the trades and vocations as they come out of school to save money for tools, licenses, uh, equipment, and certifications here in the state. Moore is also the nephew of U.S. Senator Shelley Moore Capito and first cousin of House Judiciary Chairman Moore Capito. With the election of Treasurer Riley Moore, Republicans now control all six statewide constitutional offices in the state of West Virginia. In Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis for West Virginia Tonight. Now, if all that's not enough, a lot of political observers believe Delegate Moore Capito is a potential candidate for Attorney General in 2024.